Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we uh, took on Koga, uh, the gym leader, and we kicked his ass. We won. Uh, but we were surprisingly underleveled. Uh, so, off screen, the reason you've probably realised I've not made a lot of episodes recently, uh, yeah, I kind of did a lot of off screen training, as you can see. Um, there wasn't really much of a change. Uh, the only people that land removes were uh, Crash Land Rock Blast and um, obviously Julie got her all the way up to everyone else's level and she's that's her new moveset, Flame Wheel, Aerial Ace, Brick Break, Quick Attack. So it's a pretty good moveset, pretty solid I would say. And uh, yeah, so that's it really. Uh, so I think in this we're going to continue doing some training in this episode but on screen. Uh, we're going to head down here. And uh, battle all these trainers on this uh, on the route down here. Now, uh, something you guys may have noticed that's uh, quite different is uh, my voice may sound a little different. It may sound better quality actually, and that's because I've got a new microphone. So rather than using my shitty, not shitty, I mean it's a good headset, but rather than using my uh, Turtle Beach headset to record my audio, I actually bought a Blue Snowball microphone, which uh, I constantly heard. Was a really good microphone, and it's not doesn't cost too much either. It's pretty cheap uh, for a good microphone, apparently. And yeah, so I ordered one off Amazon, and uh, yeah, it sounds a lot better. I, th I think at least I think it sounds a lot better. So uh, yeah, if you want to know what's what why it sounds different, if where you can get this microphone, you can get one on uh, on Amazon. The Blue Snowball is what it's called. Really good microphone. Highly recommend it. And I've barely even used it, but it seems. Like it's pretty awesome. But uh, let's get back into freaking Pokemon here. This fucking shield is being a pain in the ass using Protect. There we go. Knock it out. Thank you. Good job, Tyler. All warmed up. Yeah, you are. $120, you cheapskate. Although I suppose you can't carry a lot of money on you. Wait, slow down. You'll have a heart attack. <laughs> okay. Swimmer Reese, what you got? Goldine? That's no problem for Tyler. Just psychic that bitch. There we go. Ah, on a horsey. Hmm, interesting. Uh, oh, also, this is a new route uh, when, when we go in this water. So, whichever Pokemon we run into down here is going to be a Pokemon we can catch. So, let's, uh, let's see how that goes. Oh, that's chilly. <laughs> Shut up. But, um... Okay. So yeah, we finally have Ashley on the team who can use Surf, which is awesome. Uh, I'm going to put Lani out here, just in case, uh, so we can put whatever it is to sleep that we run into. So uh, let's jump in the water and see what the hell we get. I do have Pokeballs, don't I? Just making sure. Okay, yeah. I got plenty. Oh, I think also off screen something I did was I bought a shit ton of lemonades. Uh, if you don't know, basically lemonades are awesome. They heal 8 HP and they cost like half as much as a super potion. So they're really fucking awesome to spam, uh, to sit there and just buy loads, which what I did, I bought like 80. I think I maybe overdid it a little, but you know, whatever. Let's, uh, let's see who we're going to catch on this route. Right, meow. Okay, who is it? It's a... Uh, huh. Wow, a fucking Spearow. Damn, that's terrible. I don't think there's anything we can even do to hurt this thing. Okay, I'm just going to put it to sleep, throw an ultra, an ultra Ball at it. If it doesn't catch it, then I'm just going to knock it out. Because I'm not going to sit here and waste fucking god knows how many Pokeballs on a shitty level 7 Spearow. Yeah, Ultra Ball. One, two, three. Ah, oh, well, we caught it. Huh. Oh well. I mean, Spearow's cool. Spearow's a really good Pokemon. He's pretty awesome. Uh. Okay, so who are we going to name the Spearow after? It's been a while since I've did this. I'm trying to remember um, who I know that's not been named already. Uh, let's think. Let me think. Let me think. Uh. 
Wow, I cannot think of anybody. My mind has just went like a total blank all of a sudden. That's fucked up. Uh, how about how about, how about, how about... Oh wait, nope. My little cousin, Graham. There we go. You can be, you can be my Spiro. Hmm. I'm sure he'll appreciate that, although I don't think he'll ever see this video. He's not the type that goes online and watches YouTube stuff, so... Whatever. Uh, let's continue on with our training here. But uh, yeah, we've got a whole ton of trainers down here that we can fight get some levels up. Because I really want to get as high leveled as we can before we get to Sabrina. Because she is going to just tear us apart. I mean, I hate to say it, but she is. She's going to like fucking, she's going to just destroy us. And there's not really much we can do about that, is there? No, not too much. Because, I mean, she has all the psychic types and we don't have any really powerful darker ghost attacks that we can use to take her out. Or bug. I mean, we have Danny, but Danny's also weak to psychic, so she could just get, like, destroyed before she even gets a chance to use any bug moves. Oh, traumatic. Yeah, okay, well. Uh, but yeah, let's do some training. We'll just, uh, this episode's just going to be some training down here, and then in the next one we'll probably head back up to Saffron City. And, uh probably go into Team Rockets. Uh, well, it's not really Team Rockets either. We'll go into the the self-building that Team Rockets has taken over and get rid of those assholes yet again. But right now, we just do some training. Lanny, can you not hurt yourself? Okay, they... Doesn't matter. Uh, come on. Acid. God damn it, Lanny. Stop hurting yourself. I know you're confused, but god damn. Come on. There we go. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, thank god you finally snapped out of confusion. Oh yeah, I forgot Secret Power would be fucking the surf animation. So strange. And a shelter. Well, let's giga drain this thing before it has a chance to use any ice attacks. Get some of our HP back that we lost from just bashing our own brains in. There we go. Oh, oh a Sea King. Fuck yeah, Sea King. Uh, nearly up to level 39 here, Lanny. It's been a while since Lanny's learned her move, you know that? Although I'm pretty sure she learns uh, Petal Dancing in like a few levels. Uh. I'm not exactly sure what level, I think it's maybe like 43, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I guess we'll wait and see. Hopefully we can maybe get Petal Dance before we go into Sabrina's gym. That'll give Lani a really powerful attack to defend herself against, if if need be, if we have to use her in a fight. You know, I really hope we don't have to use her, because I feel like if Lani, uh, if Lani or Danny get used in any of the gym battles, they're gonna just get fucking wrecked. Although there are some few trainers in there with like slow pokes and slow bros and stuff. So I guess Lani would probably be able to take those out without too much trouble. Maybe. I guess we'll see what happens. But I'm really, it's really freaking out guys. I get the feeling we're gonna lose somebody in there and I really, god I just don't, I just don't want to deal with that again. We've already, we've already lost two members of the team. I don't want to lose anybody else. Okay, have you just got tentacles, dude? Like, seriously? I've got, is your last Pokemon going to be a tentacruel? You're going to switch up a bit? Oh, how did that not knock you out? You've got, like, fucking 0.1 HP left. Come on. There we go. Uh, is it a tentacruel? Oh, it's a Goldeen. Well, I guess you did switch up a little bit with three tentacles and one Goldeen. Oh, fuck your supersonic, Goldeen. Like, take your supersonic and just shove it right up your fucking ass. Okay, there we go. Okay, Swamber Douglas. Glob. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, do we want to? Yeah, fuck it. We'll just keep using money. We're not probably not going to use Crash on this route at all for uh, you know reasons like he is four times weak to water, so he's gonna he's gonna be sitting this little uh, training session out. I think. Oh, probably like Lani. Fucking take this thing out, man. Ah. Uh, I really wish I could get Sludge Bomb, but sadly Sludge Bomb can't get until after you, it's like a side quest thing after you defeat Elite Four, so we're not going to be getting it, sadly. Kinda sucks. Oh, fucking, something we could talk about actually in this episode since it's just going to be kind of like boring training going on, uh, the fucking... Omega Ruby and uh, yeah, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire just got announced today, like a few hours ago. And holy shit, am I hyped for that game? I cannot wait for that game. That like, I think for the past year, everyone's been talking about there's going to be a new, there's going to be a new remake. It's going to be Ruby and Sapphire's remake. Cause it's a ten year anniversary, and everyone was super excited. And then they never really said anything about it. Like, it never got revealed and everyone was kind of sad, and now, fucking May 2014, all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, it gets released, or it gets revealed that they're making uh, the Generation 3 remakes. Although, an interesting thing is, even though it seems like it's a remake, it says, like, in the little trailer thing, it says, like, a whole new world. Like, is it, so is it still gonna be home? Like, it would be kind of strange. If like if it was a remake of those games, but it was like a different region, you know, that would be like really weird. But I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. But it's pretty fucking awesome. So we're gonna have a Generation Three remake with X and Y graphics. Probably gonna have Mega Evolutions. We're gonna have fucking just all the big new features that were put in X and Y in Generation Four and Five that weren't in the original uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Which is pretty fucking awesome. Um, one thing I really want to look forward to is the whole uh, secret bases that they had in those games. Because there wasn't really much you could do with them. Like, it was a nice little feature. You could, like, fuck around with it. And I think there was a way to, like, connect, um, like, the GB link thing, like, with your friends. But, like, there wasn't really much you could do with it. Like, I don't know. Like, I never, I don't think anyone ever used it too much. But like now with Wi-Fi being able to do stuff like online, it's like opens up a whole new world for the secret bases. Like, are you gonna be able to visit all your friends' secret bases in the world and like go in, visit them, and if they're there you could like maybe battle them or something? Like in-game battle them and like get XP and stuff for fighting them? Because that would be really fucking awesome, like if you could do that, like re in real time fight your opponent. And it would like say whatever their team was the last time they were connected online would be who you would fight. That would be pretty fucking awesome if that was like the whole situation. But like just having that game uh, with all the new, the new graphics and the newest games and all the newest features since Generation 3 is going to be so fucking awesome. And again, there's another Pokemon game that's getting released worldwide. Uh, all at once in November is getting released, which is fucking awesome. No more, no more will we have to sit idly by and watch all the gameplay videos of the Japanese game for months and months, and then finally it comes out uh, over here. We know everyone's going to get it at once, which is awesome. So cannot wait for that game. Probably going to be one of my favorite games of the year. More than likely. Uh, I'm not really sure what other games are coming out this year that I'm excited for, to be honest. I mean, Mario Kart 8 is coming out this month. That's going to be pretty fun to play. Um, Watch Dogs is coming out, uh, but I've not really followed that. Well, everyone talks about it like it's going to be this awesome game, but I've not really followed it. I guess I'll maybe like pick it up and see what it's all about. and Maybe it'll be awesome, maybe it'll be meh, maybe it'll be mediocre, but meh. I uh, still want to play Titanfall. That's a game I still need to get. Um, what else is there coming out this year? Oh, the fucking... I think that Borderlands Telltale uh, game's coming out this year, maybe? I'm not sure, though, if that's 
this year or next year. I don't, I've not really followed it too much, but that would be awesome. If that's coming out this year, that'll probably be my top games. Fucking love the Borderlands series. Those are great fucking games. And to have a Telltale game with it, with uh, th those kind of like great stories and uh, like kind of multiple choice things that go multiple paths, that'll be pretty interesting to play with a uh, with that kind of thing. So yeah, can't wait for that game. I'm trying to remember. Uh, there's one other game that's coming out this year because it's not. A lot. The, the, another game I think I saw at PAX uh, that seemed to be like a big thing. Uh, definitely like on the um, I think on the Rooster Teeth Patch podcast, Barney talked about it. It's a game called Evolve that seemed pretty interesting where uh, you're like it's like a team of like four characters uh, fighting against another player who's like this giant monster and you like each each like human player has like specific classes that like will be like a healer they'll be like the rifleman who'll like be the powerful guy they'll be like uh, the trapper who has like all these like different things to like trap the monster and like fuck it up and let it not be able to escape and like and then the monster like it can slowly like gain more power throughout the fight and get stronger and it's like one of those games where if you don't work as a team you'll get fucked up it's like kind of like Left 4 Dead I guess where that's one of the because th like those kind of games are pretty awesome like you get games that are co-op and have like co-op in them and it's like yeah it's got co-op but like you could easily play this game yourself and it's not really I mean co-op's fun but you know you can just easily play through the game yourself, and just or just run ahead, and you'll be fine. But like a game like uh, like Borderlands, for existence, I mean, you can play that game yourself, but it is definitely built to be a four-player co-op with like different classes and stuff. Uh, it definitely works a lot better, especially when you're doing like the big boss battles. And then like the games like Left 4 Dead, and then it seems like this game evolve. Like if you try and run off on your own, you try and do your own thing, you try and be the lone wolf. You will just get fucking destroyed, and you and because you get destroyed, the rest of your team's going to get destroyed, and it's just not, it's just not going to be a good time. Sorry if it sounds like I'm, it sounds like I'm kind of like holding in burps. I think I've got indigestion, and it's kind of like coming up, like his burps. I'm trying like I'm trying not like constantly just fucking belch, like into the, my new microphone and like the first thing I record with it. But yeah, I mean, all those the games, all those uh, new games seem pretty awesome. Uh, but I'm not really sure. I'm, well, I guess we'll guess. I guess we'll see what happens with them all. I'm really hoping that all the games I just like I've talked about here, all probably games I'm excited for that I'm probably going to try and get this some point and play. So I really, really hope that they don't end up as games that are like, oh, it looks so awesome, and then it's just shit. And it's just like, oh, that game looked awesome, but it was just either terrible or it was just kind of mediocre and had made no impact whatsoever. Which is a shame. But, uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. Okay, Danny grew up to level 40. Ooh. Oh, I, you know, I got excited for a second and she's gonna learn the move. Wow, agility. Do I want agility? What do you think? Uh, fucking no. No, thank you. Okay, Danny, you wanna switch into Tyler? Tyler and Ashley are the only ones that are gonna be able to do any more fighting here. Poor, poor Jilly and poor Crash are not gonna really get a chance to do any battling here. Don't want to risk them getting their asses whooped against any of these water types. Especially Crash. Crash and Jilly probably my two most powerful Pokemon on the team. So I really don't want to lose any of them. Really, really, really don't want to lose any of them. And if I do lose one of them, I'm going to be really fucking pissed. So... Oh, Goldeen. Wow, that fucking... Jesus, guy, have you got enough Pokemon? Jesus Christ. Oh, come on. Also, why are you just using Water Sport? In case you didn't notice, ain't gonna be sending any fire types out anytime soon. Hey, Telegram level 40.
We've one little new move, Tyler. New move? Nope. Okay. That's fine. Okay, I think we yeah, we beat all these guys. Uh Ashley, you wanna get in here? Do a little bit of training. Uh that's nearly over there. So there's a few more there'll be a few more trainers over here we can fight. Oh, the Royal Battle. Holy shit. Why the fuck could we have not seen that earlier? Instead of a fucking Spiro. Oh, Dragonite, why? You make me sad. I'm gonna have to run away from you. God damn it. I fucking... Uh, you know what? Before I just get... Before it pisses me off anymore, I'm just... Fucking... I do, I do not... I do not want to run into a fucking million awesome Pokemon that are just gonna be like, Oh, look, you could have had me, but you got a Speedo. <laughs> Fuck you, game. How many times... How many times in this game have we ran into a Pokemon in a route and thought, okay, that's just an okay Pokemon, or oh, that's a terrible Pokemon. And then the very next one we run into is something so fucking awesome and powerful. And I'm just like, well, shit. I guess we ain't getting that one. God damn. This game, it seems like the Snuzzlock Challenge loves to just taunt me with, oh, look what you could have had, but you didn't, so fuck you. Eh, well, what can you do? What can you do about it? Not too much. Splash! Yeah, okay. Chill out there. Oh, come here. No, come here. Come here, asshole. I want to battle you. Why are you raiding a Pokemon? Can't you swim? Yeah, I can swim. But guess what? I don't want to swim in the fucking ocean. Because guess what? A Gyarados might just pop up and fucking bite my leg off. I mean, I'm sure there's fucking... I'm sure most... Pokemon, especially ones that live in water, are probably carnivorous, and you're just swimming around. I think I feel much safer swimming on a Pokemon. Man, you've just got... Oh, please, don't tell me you're just going to have four horses. I swear to God, dude. Okay, what else you got? Oh, a Seedra. That's different in no way whatsoever. Seedra's an awesome Pokemon, though. Seedra is probably one of my probably one of my favorite Pokemon. He's a pretty fucking beast. I think he was probably my f favorite water type from the first generation. He's really fucking cool. And yeah, just three horses on Seedra. Well, I don't know what I was expecting. Ouch! Torpedoed. These fucking dumbest, stupid jokes. All these puns. Seafoam is a quiet getaway. I'm vacationing there. You're vacationing on an island with a giant cave that's made of ice that has a legendary bird Pokemon inside of it. Okay. Sounds like a smart idea. Okay. Thank god. It's nice to have a Pokemon that can actually take out these uh, trainers in one hit and not take about three hits. Looking at you, Tyler. Looking at you, Danny. Uh, I don't know another Seedra. There's a shit ton of horses and Seedras out here. Holy crap. Seedras, Horses, Goldines, Sea Kings and Shelders. I think that's literally the only Pokemon we've seen in these trainer fights. Oh, and a couple of tentacles, but yeah. Quit it. No. No. Stop it. Uh, that is the last trainer. Okay, so, uh, I guess that's the end of this little training session here. We can head back to Fuchsia City. So, uh, thanks for watching this episode, guys, of Pokemon uh, Fire Red Nuzlocke Randomizer Challenge. And, uh, I hope you guys like the new microphone. I hope it sounds a lot better, uh, to everyone. And, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment, and, uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And, uh, share it. It helps me out a lot. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time when we head back up to Saffron City to take on uh, the self-building with all those Team Rocket assholes. So again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.